Hello friends. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to load MySQL table data in jQuery data tables plugin in Codeigniter 4 framework with server side processing of data. In previous tutorial series, we have seen how to download and install Codeigniter 4 framework and then after we have learned how can we do basic MySQL CRUD operation in Codeigniter 4 framework. Now we have learned advanced topics in Codeigniter 4 framework. So here we have covered topic like how to data in jQuery data tables plugin under this Codeigniter framework. We have all know jQuery data table plugin is widely used jQuery plugin for load dynamic data in tabular format with feature like pagination, search, column sorting any many more feature so here we will how to implement jQuery data table plugin in code igniter framework now let's start discussing this topic so this is our testing database and under this we have one user table so we will load this table data in jQuery data table plugin for load data in jQuery data table plugin under this code igniter 4 framework so under this framework we have already create ajax crud.php controller class ajax crud models.php models class and ajax crud.php view file so first we have open ajax crud model.php file and under this file we have write namespace with app folder slash models Below this, we have write use statement with code igniter forward slash model. So here we have import code igniter models class and it will automatically connect to database. For define model class definition, we have write class with ajax crud model extends model. So here we have define class name which will extend code igniter model class. Under this, we have write protected dollar table variable is equal to user table. So here we have defined name of database table. After this, we have write protected dollar primary key variable is equal to ID. Here we have defined user table primary key. Below it, we have write protected dollar allowed fields variable is equal to name email and gender table column in array format so here we have define user table field name under this class we have make notice table function we use this function for fetch data from user table under this function we have write dollar builder variable is equal to dollar this with database class object with table method and under this we have write user table so this method will fetch data from user table after this we have write return statement with dollar builder variable this output of this function so here our crud model class has been ready for perform database operation after this we have open ajax crud.php controller class and under this file we have write namespace with app forward slash controllers so here we have defined controllers libraries next we want to import ajax crud model class under this controller class so here we have write use statement with app forward slash models forward slash ajax crud model so here we have import ajax crud model class under this class for define controller class here we have write ajax crud class name extends base controllers so here this class has been extends to base controller class after this here we want to load data in jQuery data table plugin so here we want to download mock n table signator class library so we have go to composer and here 
we have run composer require mock end slash table signator command. This command will download and install library under this code igniter for controller class. By using this package, we can implement jQuery data table in code igniter for framework. Now we have go to Ajax CRUD controller class and here we want to import table signator library. So here we have write use statement with mock end forward slash table signator class. Under this controller class, we have make index method. This is the root method of this code. Under this method, we have write return statement with view method. And under this method, we have write ajax crud. So it will load ajax crud.php view file in browser. Now we have open ajax crud.php view file. And under this file, we have already included jQuery library, bootstrap library and jQuery data table plugin library link. Under this file, we have create one table with id is equal to sample table. We will initialize jQuery data table plugin on this table. Under this table, we have create four table column like ID, name, email and gender. Now we have moved to write jQuery code part. So here we have write dollar with table ID sample table with data table method. This method will initialize jQuery data table plugin. Under this plugin, we have write order option with blank array. It will enable data sorting feature. In second option, we have write server side option, which has been set to true. It will enable server side processing. For send Ajax request, here we have write Ajax option, and under this, we have write URL option, and under this option, we have write PHP echo statement with base URL function. And under this function, we have write ajax crud slash fetch all, so it will send request to fetch all method of crud controller. After this, we have write type, which has been set to post. Now we have go to ajax crud controller class, and here we have make fetch all method. Under this method, first we want to make object of Ajax crud model class. So here we have write dollar with crud model variable is equal to new Ajax crud model class. After this, we want to create object of table signator class. So here we have write dollar data table variable is equal to new table signator class. Below this, we have write dollar data table object with set table method. This method will set database table data. Under this method, we have write dollar crud model object with notice table method. This method will return user table data. After this, here we have add set output method, and under this method, we have define table column name lick ID name, email gender, so it will fill table with this column data. After this below it, we have write return statement with dollar data table object with get data table method. This method will send data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here our code is ready. Now we have go to command prompt. And here we have run php spark serve command. This command will start code igniter for server. 
and provide use base URL. So here in browser, we have enter base URL slash Ajax CRUD. Then on web page, we can see that user table data has been load in jQuery data table. Here we can see data C pagination link. And suppose we want so other page data, so we have simply click on that page number, and that page data has been load without refresh of web page. That means here data has been fetched from server without refresh of web page by using Ajax. But here we see that only jQuery data table pagination feature is working, and other feature is not working, so we want to enable that feature. For this we have go to Ajax CRUD controller class and go to fetch all method. And here for load data in descending order. So here we have add set default order method with two argument. In first argument we have write id and in second argument we have write descending order. So this method will load data in descending order. Next. We want to enable search for name and email column. So here we have add set search method and under this method we have write name and email table column name. So it will enable for search name and email table column data. After this we want to enable column data sort feature for ID. So here we have add set order method and under this method we have defined table column name in which we have want to add column sort feature. So here we have write ID, name, email and gender table column. Now our code is ready. So we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. After refresh of page, first we want to check search is working or not. So here we have type something in search box. After type search query, then in data table, data has been filtered according to search query. That means here search is working. Now we want to check column sorting feature is working or not. So here we have click on ID table column. So here we can see data has been load in ascending order without refresh of web page. Now on web page, we want to display 50 records per page. So here from this select box, we have select 50. After selecting 50, here on web page 50 data has been load without refresh of web page. So here all jQuery data table feature has been working with server side processing of data under this code igniter for framework. And it has performed all operation without refresh of web page because it has been used Ajax. So by using tutorial, you can learn how to implement jQuery data table in Code Igniter 4 framework with server side processing of data. In next part, we will learn how to insert data into MySQL table by using Ajax and Bootstrap model under this Code Igniter 4 framework. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.